Now look at something interesting that happens to Fourier series. We begin with the rectangular pulse train. The plot of its Fourier series coefficients is also shown. Next, increase the period of the pulse train. What is the effect of this on the frequency spectrum? It is reflected with the reduced spacing between the frequency samples. Larger the period of the pulse train, more closer are the frequency samples. In the limit, if the period extends to infinity, the signal is no more periodic but instant, instead becomes aperiodic and the frequency spacing in the spectrum is reduced to zero making it a continuous spectrum. This is in actual fact called as the Fourier transform. Thus Fourier transform provides a method for obtaining frequency domain representation of non-periodic signals. Many non-periodic signals such as speech, music and video signals can be analyzed using Fourier transform. The Fourier series equation is then modified to obtain the equation for Fourier transform. These modifications include changing summation to integration and replacing the discrete frequency n omega naught to continuous frequency omega which is further expressed in exponential form. X of omega indicates the Fourier transform of the periodic signal xt.